Well, a lot of times it's not even so much the equipment that you're using as it is the time that it takes to dial everything in correctly. So for example, we're very blessed that we get to use Akumas, which are top of the line aerospace CNC's. These are things that are designed to make satellite components and medical components. We use them here because the quality of rifles that we want to build. But that said, you still have to be a good machinist and you still have to take your time to dial everything in perfectly straight and true. So for example, in the machine here, we have a barrel dialed in to accept uh, a suppressor, so we're going to thread it 5 inch by 24. But even though we, we hold all of our vendors to a higher standard, we hold ourselves to it too, you know, dial these, these things into one ten thousandth of an inch, that's actually impressive considering that a human hair is three thousandths of an inch. So, so we're trying to get it dialed in accurately within less than a tenth of the width of a human hair. And so I just want to share with you just a barrel here that's getting ready to dial in and actually cut the suppressor. Now we won't share a lot of the internal setups of what's going on behind the scenes, but I just want you to watch the needle. As it bounce, does that little bounce to the bottom, you'll see it right there at zero below, right there at zero below, right there at zero dip down, right there at zero dip down. That little dip that you're seeing is that little spot right before she comes up to start riding back over the lands again, so the needle's bottoming out inside the landing grooves. So, we just want to take a few moments to talk about, you know, we're about trying to build the best quality components, the best quality rifles, and invent a lot of the, the, the components that have never existed before, but it takes both world-class machines to do that, as well as patience and time to still do the job right when you're dialing the things in and trying to get the components dialed in perfectly every single time. If you do all of these and you practice what you preach, you wind up with a lot of great shooting rifles consistently over and over again. So, just wanted to give you a little video here of the Akuma and a little bit of the shot of how we dial even the muzzle in to try to get the most accuracy out of your rifle. Thanks for watching.